What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Elden Ring video. Now for today's video, I'm going to be doing a ranking of what I think is the best armor sets in all of Elden Ring. Now these are all the different armors that I have used throughout my playthrough. These are the armors that I think have some of the best stats and I think just look the coolest. Because honestly, sometimes I just put on armor that looks cool. I don't really care about the stats. I just want to look like a badass while I'm playing the game and I'm running around killing stuff. So a lot of the armors that are going to be in this list are just a combination of the coolest looking and some of the ones that have the best stats. Now a lot of the armor in the game is going to vary depending on your play style. Now with my play style I like to have a medium to light load. I don't like to be weighed down too much so I don't really play with the heavy set armors that much. And I haven't really played too much with magic so I haven't done much of a mage build. I'm more of a run up in the enemy's face with a dagger or a sword and a shield and I just beat the crap out of them until they die. And a lot of the armors that are in this list today are reflecting my play style. And in this video, I'm just going to be showcasing you guys the armor. I'm not going to be showing you the locations because this would be like an hour long plus video. So if you guys like any of the armors that I'm showing off in this video, or maybe I'm showing you an armor that you just haven't found yet or you didn't know existed, there are guides for literally like every armor set that you can think of on YouTube. So just look up any of the armors that I'm showing you today and you can easily find them. But with all that said, let's go ahead and get right into the list. So coming in at number 10, I have the Black Knife armor. Now the Black Knife armor, armor pretty much makes you look like an assassin which I think is really really cool it has this like translucent kind of invisible cloak that is around you which also looks really cool so if you want to make yourself look like an assassin this is definitely one of the go-to outfits it's pretty light so if you like having a light build you like running around with like a dagger or something or dual wielding daggers this is a good set to have because it is light and it does offer you some pretty good protection and damage negation especially for how light it is so I highly recommend this outfit if you are looking to be an assassin type character. So up next at number 9 we have the Drake Knight armor set. Now the Drake Knight armor set I think is one of the coolest looking in the game. I love the fact that its cape is made out of dragon wings and it just looks awesome. It's actually pretty light. It doesn't have the best stats compared to some of the other armor sets in the game but this is just so cool looking that I had to include it in this list. It's an armor set that you can only get from playing late game content so you're you're not going to be seeing this outfit for a while. The only thing I dislike about it is the helmet. The helmet, honestly, when you're running around and you're fighting and stuff, the random like dragon horn that's on the helmet kind of looks like a big pile of poop and it just looks stupid. I don't know what it is with this game's like helmet designs, but I think a lot of the helmets in this game just look wonky and I just don't like this game's helmet designs. I like a lot of the armor sets. It's just, I don't know what they got going on with the helmets in this game, but I'm just not a fan of a lot of the helmets. I think it looks like a turd on top of your head. But other than the turd on the helmet, I think this armor set looks really, really cool. So if you want to get yourself some dragon armor, definitely look up the Drake Knight armor set because it's awesome. So so next up at number eight, we have the Gomir Knight outfit. I think I said that right. This armor, I think I found it on one of the catacombs and it, you know, it looks like a knight and it actually looks really cool. It has a really cool cape. I'm not the biggest fan of the big floofy thing on the top of it. I kind of wish it didn't have that. You know, for the most part, the armor itself looks really cool. I do like the helmet. I just don't like the thing on the top of it. It has some pretty decent stats. It's a little bit heavier. It's not too, too heavy. It's definitely not one of the heaviest armors in the game, but it will offer you a little bit of protection. If you have some low endurance, this is definitely going to weigh you down. But if you do have a lot of points put into endurance, uh, this outfit isn't too bad. You can get it down to a medium load. That way you're not weighed down and you can actually dodge a lot faster. And uh, yeah, this is a good outfit if you want to look cool, have decent protection, and not be too heavy. I think this is a good outfit to have, and I recommend it, and that's why it is at number 8. So up next at number 7, we have the Black Flame Monk outfit. Now, I really, really like the look of this outfit. I like the fact that it's got some fur up on the shoulders and around the neck. I like the hood. I like the mysterious look of it. There's actually a number of different monk outfits in this game, but I really like the white and the gray on this. This outfit's actually heavier than it looks. The chest piece is actually pretty heavy, but everything else on it seems to be pretty light. It does offer you some pretty good protection, so if you want a medium to heavy slash build, but you don't want to be too, too heavy, this is also another good outfit to have. I do remember having to farm a black flame monk like over and over and over again to get him to drop each individual piece. But trust me, it is definitely worth it because this outfit is really, really cool. 
and I think it's a must have. I was wearing this outfit for the longest time. If you want to go with like a monk or a mage type build, I think this is a good outfit for you. And that's why I'm putting it at number seven. So next up, I'm kind of cheating a little bit because this one's a two for one. It's kind of two outfits, but they're interchangeable with one another. And this is the Crucible Knight outfits. So the Crucible Knight is a boss that you encounter multiple times throughout the game, and they are extremely hard to take down. I struggled with them multiple times, but there are actually two different different sets of the Crucible Knight armor. There is the regular Crucible Axe armor, and then there's also the Crucible Tree armor. Now the Crucible Tree and the Crucible Knight, I think I like the Crucible Axe chest piece a little bit better than the tree version just because I like the black cape a little bit better. But when it comes to helmets, there's two different helmets. The tree one has like these tree horns coming out the top. And I think that's personally my favorite of the two. And I kind of just mix and match with these depending on my mood. I, I go back and forth depending on which kind of shoulders and cape you like. And then the arm gauntlets and the legs are the same for both sets. So you can kind of just mix and match between the two of them. I think it's a really cool armor set. This is one of the coolest ones in the game in my opinion. It is a really heavy outfit though, so it will give you a lot of protection, but it's definitely going to weigh you down. They will definitely carry you from mid-game to late-game content. They're just overall really, really good. The sooner you can get your hands on this armor, the better, because trust me, it is definitely worth it. So next up is one of my favorites, which is blades armor or blads armor i don't know how you pronounce his name but it's the giant dog character that you encounter throughout the game you find him from doing some side quests and stuff you can actually fight him at some point and you can get his outfit and separately from his outfit you can get his mask which i have combined with the outfit itself and the whole outfit just looks really cool i love going with the cape and you can combine this outfit with other helmets obviously if you want to mix and match because the stats on the mask aren't really the greatest but the armor itself is a good medium to heavy build. I was wearing this outfit for what felt like forever. I just think this is one of the coolest looking outfits in the game. I can't get over how cool the cape looks. If you guys want to look like this dude, I highly recommend you look up how to get his outfit. It's a pretty lengthy quest, so it might take you a while to get it, but it's definitely worth it if you take the time to do the entire side quest to get this guy's outfit, because it's just awesome. So next up is another one of my favorite looking armors in the game and it is the veteran's armor. Now you get this for beating one of the bosses and talking to the finger lady. I think you can buy it from her at the table of the lost grace. I love the giant cloak and the cape on the back. I love how beefy and just tanky you look. You just look like a complete badass when you're wearing this outfit. This is definitely one of the heavier outfits in the game. It's going to take a lot of endurance points if you're going to want to decrease your heavy load wearing this outfit. This is definitely for one of those characters that wants to just have a shield and a sword or a shield and a spear and just like poke at people. You're definitely not going to be moving very quickly when you're wearing this outfit, but boy does it look really, really cool. And because it looks so cool, that's why I'm putting it at number four. So next up, coming in at number three is my favorite of all the heavy armor sets, and it is the Tree Sentinel armor. Now the Tree Sentinel is something that you also encounter multiple times throughout the game. You see one of these dudes at the very beginning. This is actually one of the first bosses that you ever see right out of the get-go. As soon as you beat the tutorial and you get introduced to the open world, you run into these tree sentinels. And the tree sentinel armor, I think, looks just so cool. This is one of my favorite capes in the entire game. Just, you know, watching yourself in this gold armor with this really beautiful cape. I, I think this is just one of the best looking outfits there is. It definitely protects you from a lot of damage, but it is extremely heavy. So you're definitely going to be weighed down when you're wearing this outfit. But if you want to take a lot of hits and you want to look cool while doing so, I think this is the best choice. I can't praise this outfit enough. I think it just looks amazing and it's one of my favorite heavy set armors in the entire game. So up next at number two, we have the Knight Calvary armor. So the Knight Calvary armor, it basically makes you look kind of like a ring wraith. Now you get this from fighting those like ring wraith like enemies that you encounter at nighttime. These dudes were always pretty hard to take out because they're riding their horses and they're extremely fast and they do a lot of damage. But if you kill two of them together in a boss fight at the end of the game, you do get their armor set and it is just so cool. This is one of my favorite looking ones in the game. It's kind of a mid to heavy build, so it is fairly easy to have a medium load so you can roll around faster and dodge faster when wearing this outfit. It doesn't weigh you down too much, but it does offer some pretty good protection from different damages. 
overall, this is one of the best late game armors in the game. This will probably carry you through pretty much any encounter that you come across. And, you know, you get the best of both worlds. You can look really, really cool. You can take a lot of hits. You can be kind of light on your feet. You know, this is just one of the best overall armors in all of Elden Ring. So next up, I have some honorable mentions before I get to number one. Now the first honorable mention is the Albrich clothes. Now this outfit is basically for mages. If you want to have some sort of magic build and you want to look like a wizard, right, this is the outfit for you. I mean, you can't go wrong with a wizard hat and like mages robes. I mean, you just look like a wizard when you're wearing this outfit. And when I start experimenting with more magic, I'm definitely going to wear this outfit because I want to be like Gandalf or whatever, which leads us into the next honorable mention, which is the snow witch robes. These also look really cool. I really love the giant hat that you have on your character. I think it looks absolutely awesome. And then the final honorable mention is the clean rot knight outfit you have to go around farming a lot of clean rot knights to get this whole outfit i think it took me about 40 minutes of farming these dudes to get it but it was totally worth it because it just looks really awesome which leads us into the number one armor set this is my favorite which is the fingerprint armor it's got pretty decent stats for being as light as it is. You don't look bulky or anything. You have some cool looking armor on you and you have this like raggedy cape on your character. And there's just something about this outfit, but it really stands out to me. I'm getting some like old Dark Soul vibes with this armor. I'm a little biased with this outfit. For some reason, I think this is one of the coolest looking outfits that there is in all of Elden Ring. And that's why I'm putting the fingerprint armor at number one. So that is going to do it for this video, everyone. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. If there's any cool armors that I left out that you guys think should have made the list or, or any cool armors that you would have put in your top 10, let me know down in the comment section. There are a lot of different outfits in this game, so obviously not every single outfit could have made it. It, but I'm interested in seeing your guys' opinions down below. If you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, and I will talk to you all in the next video.